American Farm Bureau has friend of the Farm Bureau Award every year. And they don't just give them out, they have to earn them. And uh, Congressman Westerman, uh, through your votes, uh, your leadership, your wisdom, all of that is rolled into just a, a, a plaque of appreciation, uh, not only from the American Farm Bureau, but in conjunction with the Arkansas farmers and ranchers all out here, uh, the forestry people, everyone involved in agriculture. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you. Well, we're on our second day, and uh, yesterday we spent time in the western part of the state. Uh, we got to go visit a Pilgrim's Pride uh, processing facility out in De Queen. We also visited with some guys that uh, started a new uh, animal processing facility called Jayco, and uh, it's USDA certified. It's where people who have uh, small operations, or even with large operations, if you wanted to have some beef processed locally and get a USDA certification on it, then there's an option for you there in Hope. That's where we saw that. Today we're down in southeast Arkansas, Ashley County. I had a chance to visit uh, Bra Brady Graham's catfish farm. Uh, he produces a lot of catfish, over five million pounds a year of catfish. And then uh, another uh, round table here talking about all kinds of issues in row crop country here in Ashley County. You know, the thing that really stands out to me about the 4th District is the, uh, the diversity in agriculture here. I mean, from catfish to poultry to cattle to swine to timber to row crops to vegetables and produce, uh, we've really got a wide variety of ag crops that are produced here in the 4th District. And I always learn something. You know, I grew up in FFA. Uh, studied agricultural engineering uh, and I still learn stuff when I uh, travel around just the fourth district and see the things that are happening. Well I've learned some issues that farmers have with the, uh, the CRP program. Uh, I learned issues with, with catfish. Um, you know we we don't have a lot of processing facilities here in Arkansas so we grow a lot of catfish but have to take them over to Mississippi to process them uh, which creates concerns about uh, expanding production in the future. So I also learned that there's a lot of research and technology going into how you grow catfish and the, uh, just the way you turn the water over and aerate it and the science behind that. It's really fascinating. Uh, and that's what's cool about all kinds of agriculture is the innovation that takes place. And I think most people go to their grocery store and they never give a second thought to everything that went into producing that crop, to processing it, to getting it in the store, to having a safe, reliable food supply uh, that's very economical. You know, as Americans, we spend a small portion of our disposable income uh, on the food and the, the stuff that farmers produce that benefits us every day. Mm -hmm.